Good morning. It is a beautiful morning here at Fulbright Farmstead. And guess what? We got sheep. We're in the sheep business. Hi. Say hello to our new ram, Massey. He is a Finn and the brown one back there, the U is also a Finn. The other two are Finn East Frisian Crosses. We're pretty excited to get started with sheep, so I hope you'll follow along on this adventure with us. Hey Ty, you can go to the sheep. Buddy. <laughs> As you can see, Ty really wants to go see the sheep. <laughs> All right, so here is our back pasture. This is where we're planning on keeping the sheep and maybe doing some experimenting with rotational grazing with just the sheep. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick 360 here. So just to orient you, there's the barn and the corral. That's where the sheep are currently, just while they are getting used to their new surroundings. Now we are moving toward the east and the south. I'm not making you dizzy here. All right, heading towards the west now. And the north side and back to the barn. This pasture is about 16 acres, I think, somewhere in there, 15 to 20. It's kind of an odd shape, so I'm not sure exactly. I'm just kind of guessing, um, but I think it's a good size to start with and experiment with our new flock of sheep. I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else do I want to say? My baby is running away. Well, he's not a baby anymore, but he's still the baby, if you know what I mean. Oh, I remember what I was going to tell you guys. So um, right now, this isn't fenced. Um, ideally at all for sheep. It's just fenced for cows. It's always worked well for our cows. Uh, occasionally maybe a calf has gotten out, but it's pretty decent fence. So this cross fence right here, it's only a three strand. It's uh, not a big deal just because it's just separating another one of our pastures. Um, the fence down here at the end um, to the south. That's a five strand and it's pretty new and pretty tight. And then over here to the west-ish, um, that's actually up to a seven strand. But what we are going to do is attempt to add a few more strands of barbed wire all the way around, uh, make it an eight strand barbed wire fence all the way around. And we are going to hope that that is enough to contain the sheep. <laughs> but we shall see. Um, let me know in the comments below what has worked well for you guys for containing sheep. Also, a couple more things. Um, I think I mentioned we plan on rotationally grazing out here. So if you have a pasture about this size, uh, let me know how many pens you've made it, how often you're moving, all those kind of details, what has worked well for you guys. Like I said, this is just going to be an experiment for us you know we rotationally graze our cows just on our three pastures so obviously it's not very intensive in that way it's not a constant move um, so we are going to maybe try to do this a little more intensive and see how it goes and then the other thing I don't know if you can really see our pond down there by the little uh, well house that is where we are going to put our sheep wagon I think either that or somewhere back here in this pasture with the sheep so if you think that's a cool idea and want to hear more about it let me know 